What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, I'm not really sure if this is a vlog or a tutorial but on this channel as you know we speak about a couple of things regarding camera, lens, photography, travel and everything in between. So it's just another video regarding one of those things so stick around. First cup of 2023. Cheers. Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. And you might be thinking, why has Manny laid out his lens in front of the table before even he got into the frame and that is because today we're talking about the lenses now here is three of my most favorite and probably the most used lens now before i started my um youtube and instagram and everything like that i only used to have um one or two lenses, which uh, was the nifty 50 and the 2040 70 f4 i still have those lens but then as I grew on my Instagram and my YouTube and everything like that, I invested in glass more than I invested in camera. However, for yourself or going forward or anybody out there, this is not a video to say, okay, invest in this glass and you will grow on Instagram or make your photography or any sort of bell. It's just my way of working and how I put together my Instagram and my YouTube and how I grew those things and how I thought that putting together these lenses will help towards what I like to do. So these are three lenses that I own, which are mine and probably the most used in anything that I do. And that is probably because they range from a um, wide angle all the way to fully compressed or what I would like to say, telephoto. The three lens that I have here do everything for me so as an advice from myself to you would be that somewhere along the line if you was to invest in glass would probably be these three lens if you do anything from architecture to portraits to night photography to uh, weddings and events or anything like that I think these three lens are a must-have somewhere along the line in your camera bag in your journey of photography and YouTube Okay, so first and foremost, I have this mega heavy thing. It's the 24 to 70. This I really like because it starts off with a wide angle, which is the 24. Um, if I want to vlog on that, anything to do with architecture, if I want a wide shot of something like that, like the bucket shot, um, this is what I would use definitely because it has 24 mil in there. If I was to zoom in, boop, this will go all the way to 70 mil. Uh, for the portraits or if I want a product photography or any of that sort this is what I would use for that and it comes really handy but the downside of this is that it is really heavy it is super heavy it does take a toll on my back when I put it in the camera bag when I have to travel with this um, but I do have the F4 version to this as well which is what I'm filming on right now so Anything else other than the F4, I'll probably go for the 2.8. And my second one, my favorite as well, this is the 50 mil. Well, all of them are my favorite, like I said, but this is the 50 mil. I love this lens, it's super, super light. It's, just, it's so like that, I can just take it anywhere. And most of the pictures that you've been seeing on my Instagram page lately of product photography have been taken by this thing here. This D50 mil, it almost always, always stays on the camera. I hardly ever take it off because it's a 50 mil. It can do everything from A to Z other than probably vlogging. I wouldn't vlog with this because it's, because it's a 50 mil, but it's a 1.4. So night photography, product photography, 
architecture, anything you throw at this, a 50 mil is so good for everything. Now I recently done a travel to Milan where I went and I took some where I took some pictures of architecture and I went up to the um, the terrace of the uh, the cathedral or whatever it's called. It is it was amazing. It was a really good experience in Milan. Um, another tick off the bucket list. Um, but that's where I took this 70 to 200. This is pretty good stuff. I didn't intend on buying this, but it came on offer. So um, I hooked it up. Um, the reason why this is probably pretty big is because when you zoom, that is now at 200 mil. And if you were to compress that back to uh, 70, you see that the lens don't extend. And that is because everything is happening inside. It's all in the blades, it's all mechanical happening inside. And that's why this lens is super heavy, it's super big. Like I said, the 24 to 70, the 50 mil, and the 70 to 200. These are my favorite lens that I use all the time and are with me all the time, whatever the event and wherever I go, with even with product photography or if I'm shooting night photography. Now in this 24 to 70, like I said, there is also an F4 version, which is slightly cheaper. Um, you can probably pick that up around three to 400, maybe even cheaper secondhand. Um, but you always don't have to invest in the biggest and the most expensive. I started my career and my journey with an F4, like I said, which actually came with the camera. And that's what I'm shooting on right now. And that's what I prefer for vlogging because it's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit lighter. Let me just quickly show you what that F4 looks like um, from Zeiss. And that's what I usually vlog on. Okay, so this is the F4 of it. And this is what I usually vlog on. And this is mostly on the camera if I'm vlogging. Uh, along with the Nifty 50, which normally does uh, every time you buy a camera these days, the Nifty 50 is usually uh, with the camera when you purchase it. But um, this I have always still kept with me because it's so light, so versatile. And if just in case something is up and I cannot use the 24 to 72.8, which is slightly heavier, uh, more expensive, and I don't want to carry with me, then I just use the F4, which is this one here. So somewhere along the journey of your photography or YouTube or whether you want to make money or just do it for a hobby like I do. Um, but I would advise that somewhere along that journey of photography, you invest in these three lenses because they are so versatile and will help you grow as a YouTuber perhaps and a photographer for definitely. Okay, so it is a wrap and we're gonna finish off this video. Hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.